to that look, jump to that Romans. Romans the one, the first chapter. John. It's the book of Romans, chapter one, starting at ten. So then let me see. Take all my power back. Starting at twenty one. Because that when they knew the most high, they glorified him not as the most high. Neither were thankful. Yeah. It became vain in their imaginations. Yeah. And their foolish heart was darkened. Right. But this is the same place. They're saying, uh, read that part again. But it's the same place they say, in God we trust. Right. Put it on the back of a dollar. You put, you, you, you motherfuckers so much, you put crosses around your neck. You, you, act like, you act like you so into the word and the Lord, but you, you do all type of sodomite, sodomite acts, man. You gonna come over here. Stop with me, nigga. Go ahead. Rockin' ass, bag ass. Romans 1 and 21, because that they knew the Most High, they glorified him not as the Most High, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imagination. Became vain in their imagination, man. Right? Go ahead. And their foolish heart was darkened. And their foolish heart was darkened, man. That's many things. Now, you, you thinking that a man can have a child now, man. He in America. You gonna you gonna take the ovaries from a woman and try to put it in a man and formulate you some type of Frankenstein baby, man? It ain't no sex, right? You, don't need it. you women, you wanna be men now, man? And that's, and that's the nature. On my like yeah, go ahead, man. Man. On my Professing themselves like to be that. wise, it they became no foolish. Yeah, and that's, and that's just the bulk of the people right. here in America. I'm a newbie. Go ahead. I'm a newbie king. And change the glory of the uncorruptible power into an image made like corruptible man. Yeah. And what season? This has a part to do with it, man. Season for you. All of them. All of them. You done made, you done made man. All of them are the white man. You made, you made, you made the so called white man your ruler. He tells you what to do. Oh. Being in that lifestyle, it's okay. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You can be the you can be the next. Man, that shit yeah. Thirteen of them, nigga, not twelve. Where? At the table one. Wherefore the most high also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts, to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. One more time. Wherefore the most high also gave them up to uncleanness. Most high gave you all you all you switch hitters, man. All right? All you back doors, you spine, you spine tapping, man. The Lord talking about you. Go ahead. Where the, wherefore the Most High also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. Dishonor your own body between yourself. And then you got motherfuckers out here getting the whole get up now, man. We bring, we bring this up. They go get, they go get the voice box changed. They go get the, they go get the rods clipped off. You name it, man. That's against that's against nature. Well, who changed the truth of the Most High into a lie, and worship and serve the creature more than the Creator? Yeah, he served the creature more than the Creator, man. Well, who is blessed forever? A man. Right. Well, keep going. Keep going. For this cause, the Most High gave them up unto vile affections. Yeah, he gave them up to vile affections, man. And he's going to explain oh, yeah. why he gave them up to vile affections. With, for even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. Even the women, you have changed the natural use. The natural use of a woman is to uh, give me Genesis three and sixteen. This the book of Genesis chapter three verse sixteen. Unto the woman he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. And sorrow thou shalt bring forth children, and thy desire shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. Right. Changing the natural use of that which, which the woman's supposed to have. Receiving, receiving rod in them, man. Bringing forth the baby, taking care of the house, nurturing the kid, helping the man. Right? Now, now you got you got everything all messed up because of the so-called white man being in, being in rulership. Right? Starting with the 1948ers, man. Them small hats, them the ones that came and set everything out of course, everything is out of order, man. All right? And they have uh, systematically sent people 
that's a part of the agenda and power to push this, man. We're talking about on a large level. We ain't talking about just no small shit. The top Hollywood, the top Hollywood people, guess what? They're with the elites. The top people that's over the TV, over the news, over the radio, all of them are part of the same agenda to push, to push, to push, uh, the switch hit activity, man. I'm gonna say real quick. Go ahead. That also proves they're not the people, because the prophecy says when the true Jews go back to the Holy Land, the law of the Most High is gonna go forth out of Zion. Ever since they went back to the Holy Land, they've just been promoting sexual deviancy, degeneracy, and madness. Tel Aviv's known as Pink City, and it's one of the prime hotspots on the entire planet. This month, they're gonna have a whole parade in Tel Aviv in the land of Israel. Promoting this Sodom and Gomorrah lifestyle, but yet they're the people. They're the people. Yeah, man. This is uh, verse 27. And likewise, also the men leaving the natural use of the woman. Leaving. You men, you men leaving the natural use of a woman, man. You know that's what they say. You have one with that? Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. Yeah, print it out. Read that again so you can print it out. It's Romans 1 and 27. And likewise, also the men leaving the natural use of the woman. You men leaving the natural use of the woman. The natural use of the woman is to is to, is to get down with her, man. Right? To get to know her. You look into the word no, K N W. K N O W. It means to have sexual intercourse. Right? It means, it means to. It means to have sex. Right? That's what it's Intimacy, man. You, you, when you do that, you humble a woman, man. You men leaving at all. Don't ever come to my face. The, the back door, of men. This Deuteronomy chapter twenty-two, verse twenty-eight. If a man find a damsel that is a virgin, a twenty. Yeah, which is not for trap and lay on her and lie with her and they be found. Then the man that lay with her shall give unto the damsel father 50 shekels of silver and she shall be his wife because he had humbled her. Yeah. He may not put her away all his days. Yeah, he had humbled her, man. He yeah. had to continue with her in a wife. As it said in the law, you get a wife, you got to continue up on the sexual intercourse, which shows your marriage between you and the woman, which is constant, intimate intercourse, on and on. Meaning what? What the Lord had brought together, let consummate it, let, you know, let nothing put asunder. In other words, so if the Lord brought you and the man, except that, except let that, then she's a freak, she's free. But the woman is bound to the man long as she living. Meaning he got a humble love. All her days. You men leaving at all to deal with other men. So, yep. Go ahead. Too. Yeah. You got a little more. And likewise, also the men leaving the natural use of the woman burned in their lust one toward another. Burning your lust for another for another man. Like your boy said, man's butt. You know? Go ahead, man. Burning that lust one to another, men with men working that which is unseemly. That shit is unseemly, man. That shit is unseemly. All right, go ahead. And receiving in themselves that recompense of their heir, which was me. Right. That goes into a host of things, man. All type of, all type of plagues on you, man. But like I said, this is this is Sodom and Gomorrah. They glorified and put this image up here. It really, it really didn't mean all the Sodomites millionaires and, and, and prospering in society. That's the most of the people that's prospering. Sodomites, man. All right? You got something? You holding something on that? This Leviticus 20 and 13. If a man also lie with mankind as he lied with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. It's an abomination, man, to do that, man. That's all. To do that, man. And the Lord... Systematically, the Lord has offered this automatically put more women here on earth than men. That's for a reason. Right? That's for a reason, man. That's for the reason of procreation. That's for a man get his rocks off, 
know that, man. To not commit adultery. Right. Because you have more, you know, you can have multiple women. Right. That too. Yes. Yes. The, and there's no the excuse. Yeah. Oh, he's, 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 man, to every, like I always said, to every pot, there's a lid. So, to every, if the man's a pot, there's a lid to go with that pot, man. There's a woman somewhere to go with that man. You know, right? There's no, there's no reason for two pots to be getting it on, man. Two lids to be getting it on, man. I'm just putting it, I'm, I'm trying to be a PG as I possibly can, man. You know? Also, to our posted a clip of a woman in Nigeria talking about how it's in a man's nature to deal with multiple women, and that's just nature itself. That, say, if only 30 men were left on the planet, and all these women, they could repopulate. If only 30 men could repopulate the entire planet's population. I looked up the, st the statistics, said that wrong, and you go and look, I think it's 39% boys, males are born, and it's 61% women. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's for a reason. Man. That's you can go look that up. It's I know the powerful. My bet that's how powerful the Most High is. I yeah. better put that in there. That's yeah. how. That's how powerful the Most High did that. Through your, you know, through your whole shine without even blinking, man. For a reason. You about to say that? My bad. Huh? Yeah. Just, now the Lord did that great uh, imbalance, but it's actual. It's actually a balance. It's just a balance to every man. When you look in the scripture, it said uh, seven men shall take, seven women shall take hold of one man. And that day because he made, he created more women, man. He didn't want it to be messed that way. All right. He brought more women because so, a man can take up on what? Multiple women. But it, multiple women can't take up uh, on multiple, a woman can't take up on Once multiple women. Once a woman's men. pregnant, she's, she's out of the game for nine yes, months. Yes, she's out of the but game. But a man can had sex with a woman every day. And every keep day. Women pregnant. They keep, keep going. going. Yeah. And that's and that's why the Lord did it that way. That's coming back in style too, man. Yeah. All right. But we under the Jeremiah 31 and 22. A woman that's compassed a man. Now the women have took complete hold of how the men do it. These hoes got multiple men. Yeah. And the men being faithful. Yeah. With one. Now I'm living in one, one house. house girl, cause living in one house, man. Women got rotation. The women got rotation. She got a nigga pay the phone bill. She got a nigga that give her gas. And they, she got a nigga that shop for her sex, man. And he got another, and he got another one that lay that lumber down. And man. lay that lumber down. She, I just fuck him, girl. He, he just lay the lumber down. He don't do nothing, he do. Else. nothing else. Nothing more, nothing less. Lay the lumber down, get the sandwich, get a, get a, get a, get a ham, bologna sandwich, and leave out the house. Yeah. All right? And it just is what it is. Right? That just that just is what it is here in this society. And it's, and it's backwards. Right? And it's backwards, man. And then, like I said, a lot of a lot of the you so-called you simps out here, you boys, you get mad when the men of the Lord come on the block and bring these issues up. And like I said, it, I can just feel it switching. But we're gonna talk about it, man. Yeah. We're gonna bring scriptures out about it. That shit off, man. What are you talking about, man? Can't take hey man, you can't take no nigga serious looking like ET, man. Yeah. With a fitty on. Fuck up the block, man. Fucking fitty bigger than his yeah, whole body. Yeah, the fucking fitty cap bigger than your whole body, man. Hyper's <laughs> <laughs> supposed to fit. It's a fitty hat, but yeah. it don't fit. You can't take, can't take nobody serious. Man. You can't take no nigga serious like that, man. The world play too much, man. Yeah, man. That's what the Lord's gonna do what he's gonna do, man. Pray it up. First Corinthians 11. Verse 8, for the man is not of the woman, but the woman of the man. The man is not of the woman. But a lot of you niggas out here, you don't want to be, you don't want to be a man. You want to, you want to, you want to be a woman, man. You want to be Jeffrey Anna. You know? You want to, you want to, you want to actually, and that's like I said, that's what the society produces, man. A bunch of, a bunch of bati boys. Yeah, a bunch of Bati boys. Come, on. Can't, can't, can't even trust either my nigga. I get close to each other, man. Stupid ass. No. Hey, that's what I was saying. We made the video. That's what people fucking hate this society, man. When you see, you see this bullshit. They're blind, man. And they roam around like there is no uh, Yahweh, man. But the most eyes gonna show you people how great
Brady. However, he never went nowhere. He always been here watching this, watching this cesspool of bullshit, man. And he's finna crush a lot of y'all, man. Go ahead, uh. The right. most I'm finna crush the bulk of you people, man. Through your pride and your wickedness. Isaiah 5, verse 20. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil. And that's the bulk of the people in church. Something that's good, something that's for the betterment of the people, something that's <coughs> uplifting, right? Something that's just plain out truth and facts. It's, it's called evil here. But the things that are, that are evil are, been, are basically known to be good, man. Backwards. That's bizarre world, man. Everything's upside down. Our, the courses and foundation of the earth is completely turned turned away, man. It's right. This, this place is a an exact uh, example of what not to be, how not to rule, how not to have a family, how not to have a society. Everything's upside down here, man. Every goddamn thing, man. And they've got a documentary coming out now called What is a Woman? For a guy, he's going and asking, like, obviously women, oh, do you know what, what is a woman? And they all just, uh, the, the Jeopardy music starts playing. It's fucked, man. And that's all programming, because you best believe half the people that's on that podium are bought and paid for to say that dumb shit. Then you got two idiots out here that's watching TV, that's looking at it. You know what? What is a woman? Because you roll, everybody in America rolls with a pack mentality. If somebody seems seem just a little bit like they got some type of wisdom, you niggas roll with that shit. Or have an out of the box idea, you roll with that shit. Get the, get the car, look at this shit. Look, this, this is bullshit. I hope that motherfucker flip, I hope that bitch going 20 rollovers, man. Don't hide it. There you go. Bullshit, man. If I can say in that documentary, somebody, somebody with like some alphabets in front of their name, so a, a professor or something literally said this in the documentary. Oh, some women have penises and some women don't have penises. Great job. That's madness. That's all programming, man. With, with you Americans, you're, you're, you're keen to being programmed. You love to be programmed, man. You love for the government to tell you what to do, what to eat, what to drink, what to wear, right? Who and who and who, who to appropriate with and who not to appropriate with, man. Who to hate. Man, got a, a new boogeyman every couple of years. Get this one, man. Watch the nigga in the yellow, man. His hard drive is an abomination. You can't trust a nigga. She look like a caterpillar on his lip, man. You can't trust that nigga, man. Good. And you best believe he's a freak. He's with all them goddamn women, and he ain't popping nail one of them, man. No. Real men are back, man. Right. Real men are back, man. Right? All right. We finna take over this shit. Uh -huh. All right? With the rod of iron, and with the rod of men, man. All right? And we gonna, <laughs> we gonna pretty much set a new stand in the earth with these with the fruit of your how about you shot, man? All right? The real men are back. Not you, not the, these ain't fucking men out here, man. These are males, but they ain't men. Because a real man would actually stand up for something that he believes in, man. Willing to die for something that he believes in, man. Not like you, you fucking, you boys out here, man, that lay down for everything. The government said you got to take the, the C-19, you niggas lay down. Take it. No question asked. Where, where, where you want me to put it at? And he puts it in you, man. You niggas, you niggas are soft, man. Especially you, you fucking down south. So called black men. You niggas are soft and water the fuck down, man. That's right. And then you gotta die, man. Why do you niggas just gotta fucking die, man? Excuse my French, all right? But fuck it. You just gotta die, man. You literally, you, you literally went from being snatched up by the so called white man, put on plantations, driven in the fucking ground, being butt broken. So now you just willingly be a goddamn homo, man. You willingly, and you fucking black women, man, you willingly sleep with the, black, the white man. That he didn't rape, rob, and murder you for years. You willingly lay down with this fucking devil. 
to bring it, bring in these goddamn tears. these tears, man. And, and and what it is, the two the two topmost uh, divorce of America, the white man is the top divorce man, and the, and the black woman is the top divorce woman. Now now you now y'all two getting together, you still can't even get you still can't even get it. Get yeah, it the right, highest, man. Not only like the highest separate country. individually, but even when they get together, they got the highest divorce rate. <laughs> yeah, man. Two goddamn demons together, man. Now like I say, not all of you, man, but the bulk of you, man. You still, you still swimming in this pool, thinking this American dream gonna work out. It's not gonna work out. This dream that you you actually think you in is a goddamn illusion, man. All right, the American dream is a fucking nightmare, man. All right, it's a nightmare, and that nightmare. That nightmare is really about to you really about to get it intensified, man. All right. Isaiah 5 and 20. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness. Darkness for light, light for darkness, man. The people here in America, they, they all about they all about sugarcoating, being watered down. They, it's not about the truth here. Somebody asks you the truth about a, a particular topic, you tell them you're shut. You're look you're looked down upon, man. That's that programming that the uh, that the elites been working on for years, man. You look, this is regular men, rainbows. This is something shit, man. Closet, closet, closet. Uh, what do you call them? Fairies. Yeah, closet fairies and shit, man. And it's everywhere. And another one. And another one. You know? Tell your revelation that. Howard Shah's coming back to destroy them that make and love it the lie. Yeah. And a lot of these people love lies. Like the elders said, they love being lied to. They don't want to hear the truth. Hey, a dream is a lie. A lot of times, a lot of times, a dream is a lie. It says, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Woe to them that are wise in their own eyes. Yeah, and you, and you, you keep it in inside of you, you're wise in your own eyes, man. Oh, to each his own. Yeah. Oh, whatever floats your boat. They cool with it, I'm cool with it. All right? But that's, that's key words that being destroyed right there, man. But that's what that old saying. If you don't, uh, Oh, you fall off anything? Oh, yeah, if you don't stand up for something, you'll fall off anything. Yeah, you don't stand up for something, you'll fall off anything, man. Like I brought out a couple, about a month back. Now you have our grandparents that once grew up in the, like my grandfather. Yeah, he was born 1942. Global You know, 1942. When you have a guy that his age, coming up, he shouldn't that shit. He talked about it. Oh, my God. No, I ain't hear them words. I ain't heard Morphodite. Well, you know, I grew up on them words. Like, what the fuck is that? Yeah, that's throwback. That's throwback. And I'm talking about these the shunning. Now you got the same men. Oh, I don't have a problem with it. <laughs> cool with it, man. You know? Back in Romans 1. It's Romans 1 and 32. It says, Who knowing the judgment of the Most High, that they which commit such things are worthy of death. Yeah, you're worthy of death, man. And we ain't saying it. The Bible said it. A lot of you already know it, man. A lot of you ride around with that black storm and cloud on your head knowing this shit ain't right. Yeah. They know. They know. Yeah. Nobody has to tell you. A lot of times, we'll be teaching about the destruction of America. We'll be teaching about order out here. you have, you have, you have one of them walk by and all that man get in their feelings. We ain't tell you nothing, man. Just you already know. You already know that the, the action that you expect of you Israelite men and you Israelite women, man. It's one thing about it, man. Even though you're in that lifestyle, a lot of you have the conscience, man. All right? A lot of you know that there is a higher power. All right. All right, all right. Come on, man. It says, man, not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. Yeah. So the ones that you, the same people that have, they don't, they don't 
have a problem with that doing, you turn the blind eye, call uh, once again to each his own, whatever floats your boat. Hey, the Lord said what? It says, not, get it. Done. not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. Yeah, you take pleasure in them that do it, man. Oh, I'm not, I'm not in that style, but I'm out here for the parade. I'm wearing the colors. I got a shirt on. I'm in the parade. You know? Well, you gonna get the same thing they get, man. All right? You gonna get the same goddamn thing when they get it, when the most I get the cooking. I'm out here, man. And he's finna get the cooking, because we already smell us. We already smelling the seasons and the spices, man. In the, in the, in the, uh, the garlic, paprika, and everything, man. That's leading up to the whole dish. The most I'm gonna finna get the cooking right here, man. Yeah, he's bringing them out, man. You no? Know? Oh, you closet, closet, uh, uh, cooking monsters around here, man. Munching and grunching on every goddamn thing. Go ahead, huh? Can't stand you too, man. This proper is 14 and 14. No, nah, that's about it. It says the backslider. It says Proverbs 14 and 14. The backslider and heart shall be filled with his own way. Yeah, he's gonna be filled with his own way, man. Tell him one. And a good man shall be satisfied from himself. Which the backslider and heart, he who backslide is one who once slid on the foundation, but then he slide all the way off it, man. All right? He don't trust in his own thoughts no more. That's why I say a good man shall be satisfied from himself. Because your heart unfolds with which is what's in it, man. But we believe in our heart. The simple believe every word. Some shit come through. If you believe every word, you believe with everywhere of life too. Because everywhere of life changes with a word, man. All right, they give you a word. Look, all right, the new word is accept. Everybody accept each other. Who is thou will? And you tolerate it, man. And you that makes you a backslider in your heart. Your heart is your mind, man. All right, when you backslide in your mind, you're a double-minded man, which makes you unstable in all your ways. And you live, you're unstable, you're a fucking faggot too, man. You got it, huh? The second John 1, verse 11. For he that biddeth him God's feet is partaker of his evil deeds. Yeah, so if you cool with somebody that's that's in the sodomy, if you cool with the ways of this world, you, you'll partake of their evil deeds. It tells you revelation, come out of her, my people, that you meet be not a partaker of a, of a deed, man. Right. Come out of her means means mentally. It doesn't mean get on a plane and go back to Israel. It means come out of this this world, loving this, this society, loving sodomites. Oh, that that's the gay homie. The fuck is the gay homie? Right. What, 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 what is that? You got you got lesbians that's the head of gangs now, man. That that is shaking up for the abomination. You look like a goddamn waste manager in truck. Grimace, man. Even turn into Grimace <laughs> from McDonald's. Yeah, we're married, so we got no ass. No ass. You know that truck is that truck cut off. That's cut off in the back. Yeah, I know that was goddamn cow shorts on. Hey, yeah, with the shit though, man. Yeah, Why you you talking what you saying? She look at you shaking that goddamn head, man. I want to see you shake your head at these right here though. Me get the goddamn fly. Shake your head at them. <laughs> tell them that tell them these tell two hundred million of these they wrong. That ain't right. Right? You women, a lot of you women are with that shit, man. This Shard is a so called black woman, she got a, a side of my best friend, man. That shit's off this one. That's what you can save him in school. Don't yeah. mess with him. Swear it. Yeah. Swear it. Yeah. Got more. This uh, Isaiah 59, I'm gonna start at 12. It says, For our transgressions are multiplied before thee, and our sins testify against us. For our transgressions are with us, and as for our iniquities, we know them. And, and, and transgressing and lying against the Lord and departing away from our power, speaking oppression and revolt, conceiving and uttering from the hearts words of falsehood. And how we did that. Ultimately, by falling at the other nation. Yep. Give me a uh, Psalms, I think it's 106. I think it's 
Yeah, and the following after the other nations have made us depart from our power, man. Only reason why you jakes, you so-called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans won't be fags, because the, the your, your ruler that's over you, his bond is of Sodom and Gomorrah. And you of your fault at a double, man. That's the only reason why y'all can walk out with pride, because y'all are disgraced to the commandments of the Most High. And that's why the law about to re-put judgment back in the earth, that y'all may learn righteousness, man. You got it. Lord's gonna destroy all this shit, man. Ultimately. Yeah. Everything she's got damn see, man. Right? You look at this big camera on and, and go 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 slow. You get a full glimpse of this shit, man. Let it let it marinate. Look at Jake, man. Jake tore down out here, man. Jake is tore down out here, man. Alright? The wild view. Of violence and wickedness, man. It's a tore up, everything tore up. Yeah. Everybody look bad. I like it's just it's just total fucked up, man. You got it, bro. Their mindset is all you they just open their mouth and their mouth foul and vanity, man. And we just live did it be on that shit is vexation, man. Just to just to hit 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 a shit. See, it's like man. By the time you and I'm dealing with you, man. I ain't dealing with these other nations. I'm dealing with you, you men of the tribes, man. If you look at it, you nine times out of ten, you're a fake ass thug. Right? You trying to live the glory, the glory, the glory of a uh, uh, two plus your club, a lot of you niggas. Soldier slim. Soldier slim. Whatever goddamn man of whatever these fucking rappers you love, man. Because a lot of times you can take the a lot of times you can find out what you're dealing with. Just ask the nigga who his favorite rapper is. Yeah. He said, he said, any one of them, that's that's who he yeah. think he is, man. That's his mindset. Yeah. Saying, you just go back and look at what that guy rap about. That's that nigga mindset, man. I like Young Boy. Oh, right. I like Soldier Slim. I like this one. Yeah, dog, got it, my nigga. You hear me? You just a, a big head Memphis, throw it off, nigga, man. You know? What you about to say, yeah, that's the way of the world. People is, is taking on the personalities of other people and they can't identify themselves no more, man. They identify with the personalities they're taking on. That's why people fall in love with the personality of the rapper, the baby. That's not who that man is. That's not who he is. This is what I'm giving to the world. And people are like, that's real, brother. Like, no, man, you live in a in that, falsehood, man. What's that Greek philosopher name? Uh, Socrates. Socrates. Uh, Oh, the I forgot his name. But he said it before. He who control he who controls image controls the mind. Controls the mind, man. So if you can if you can if you control image of what you project and put out, what is what is that, man? This is this is this is a, a image. Of, these are images of, of yeah. so-called celebrities. Yeah. If you get a, a arm in them. You put it out there. What's gonna happen to the youth? What's gonna happen to the average so-called uh, uh, adult, man? Cause guess what? Hip hop is a tool. This is just as uh, rock and roll is a tool that was used to control the masses of people, man. And guess what? A lot of you so-called men still running around here thinking you Weezy F baby. A lot of you niggas still running around here. Taking you uh push a T, Drake, Young Boy, and you name them, man. You live in a you live in a, a Peter Pan like Peter Pan lifestyle, man. Why do you have Peter Pan syndrome? Like it was broken out of me a long time ago. All of the niggas rap about them niggas ain't killing people like that. It'll have been dead in jail some goddamn way, man. Cut it out. Rap music is nothing more, it's faker than a WWE, man. Right? It's fake. It's a it's a facade. Them niggas don't even have the shit that they pretend to have, man. You asked them to break down the guns they're rapping about. They couldn't do it. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's commercial theater. In other words, it's drama, man. Yeah. Drama sells, we get it to people, long as it long as it, it distract them, we good, man. It's entertainment. Yeah, my teachers, one of my 
middle school teacher broke that down. So I'm like, damn, you know what? He right. And then like the next week later, I saw that nigga Lil Wayne coming around. It was that corner right there. I was walking around that corner. He was coming around that corner with a, with a gang of people. Like this motherfucker, this tall man. Yeah. Not, 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 uh, not, uh, the man. When he have time to do that? He's he fucking in Miami at this time. When you got time to kill people? Man? Yeah, you rap all day. You rap all day. Then when you get out of where you go, you gotta go in the studio and make more music. Then you gotta go to shows. Then you go do a commercial. Then go over there. Come on, Still think the thong song is in style, man. Yeah, Cisco ass niggas, man. Let me get it, man. You gotta get the black woman, the fat black woman, she with him, man. Well, she's paid. Instead of getting on his motherfucking ass, man. Go ahead, huh? Hey, these women need to tell these men they fucking faggots, too, man. They'll listen to her. Yeah, listen to her. Like, you a fucking faggot, man. It's a sickness, though, man. It's a sickness, and a lot of them, give me that scripture in the pocket book. Uh, read it, uh, whatever you got. Uh, it says, they, just, they did not destroy the nations concerning whom Yahweh commanded them, but were mingled among the heathen and learned their works. And that's our people, man. They learned the works of the heathen. They learned the ways of the Canaanites, the Egyptians. Then you go into the, the Greek captivity, they learned the way of the Greeks. Uh, training butt ass naked, Greek fraternities. To this day, man, everything that he even do, our people look to it. Our people do it. That's right. I tell you, Jeremiah 10 to learn not the way of the heathen. But you can't tell Jake that, man. Jake think the way of the heathen is righteous because the heathen are in power. So wait a minute. If the heathen are in power and they're doing this, I should do this too and I'll get power too. It doesn't work like that. They're in power because of prophecy. Because we went off against the law, statutes, and commandments, and the Lord put them over us to punish us. It's supposed to be a punishment. If you put your child on punishment, and you go and look, and they're having a, a fun time, you're, you're not going to want to take them off punishment. You're going to punish them more. Punish them more, man. I'll kill them. Yeah, put them down. That's why he's putting them down. Because yeah. the punishment ain't helping them over there. No, not at all. So he's going to put them down. Yeah. All right, y'all won't be punished and still bullshitting? Because Jake is brutish. They brute beasts. All right? They kind of is as a beast, meaning they mindset. So the Lord do what with a, 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 a willful beast? Kill him, man. Bring it up, because this is what they like to say, too. Oh, I was born like this. No. I was born like this. Like that. Nah, man, you weren't born like that, man. When you ever seen a gay baby? You never did. You were born like that. That's, that's the bullshit that they kick here in America, man. She was born that way. I've been knowing since I was a child. Nah, man, you've been tampered with, man. <laughs> your uncle tapped your uncle was fucking with you, man. You've been touched, you've been compromised, man. Right? Or you just naturally lost about that shit. You all right? Ultimate is judgment, too. Right? It's ultimate, the most I got you got, you know. You, 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 you pretty much, you, you know, the most I got you in the, in the pickle jar, man. Go ahead. Yeah, he got you in Moonlight, though. Remember the movie yeah. Moonlight? I did not watch this. We ain't watch it, but. <laughs> he got you in Moonlight. You he got in Moonlight, He got you in uh, the cowboy movie. Brokeback Mountain. Brokeback Mountain, man. A lot of you niggas in that Brokeback Mountain spirit. A lot of you, a lot of you niggas is Brokeback, Brokeback Mountain thugging, man. Like your boy said, you go back to the trap house. You don't know what the fuck going on in the trap house. 
real. Yeah, stick some butts, niggas. Stick some dicks in that bitch, man. Yeah. A lot of you niggas ain't nothing but gay homeboys, man. Dick dunking and fucking. Yeah. He chucked his partner. And you partner. fucking your partner because you can't, <laughs> he ain't going to see nothing about it, man. Yeah. Four the niggas to a trap house, man. Ain't that much going on in the goddamn world, man. Go ahead, now. This is Rock 15 and 10. It says, For the praise, for praise shall be uttered in wisdom, and the Lord will prosper. To <laughs> say not thou, it is through the Lord that I fell away. Say not through the Lord, I was born this way. Yep. Did I? What does it say again? Say it again. It says, say not thou, it is through the Lord that I fell away. That I fell away. Most high did it, man. I was born this way. He created me this now, nah, man. What is it going to say? For thou oughtest not to do the things that he hated. He hates that 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 uh that fairy tale lifestyle, man. All right? That peanut butter chasing lifestyle, man. You know what I'm talking about. I'm trying to help you out. Trying to be PG, but uh, you know, sometimes it comes out, you know. You know what I'm talking about, though, man. You know, a lot of you niggas, you women, you, you, you scrambling eggs, all right. A lot of you niggas, you, 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 you know, you blazing, you blazing all, all, all them. You know. yeah, a lot of you niggas, you blazing nothing but buns, man. It says, send not down, he caused me to err, for he had no need of a sinful man. Yeah, he had no need of a sinful man. No reason, man. Cool, cool. But it was up, uh, what it is? Is that, uh, that James? Yeah, uh, all right, brother. All right. Tune in. Look at James. What? James 12 and 15. James 12 and 15. 2 and 15. 2 and 15. 2 and 15. I don't want to talk about. Moreover, this was not enough for them that they erred in the knowledge of the Most High. But whereas they lived in the great war of ignorance, those so great plagues called they peace. Right, that's talking about the Canaanites, and today it's talking about you niggas, man. You, you call it peace to, to live in a society where a woman can be a so-called man, a man can be a so-called woman. That's, that's an abomination, man. That's a change of kind. It says, they kept neither lives nor marriages any longer undefiled but either one of them slew another traitorously or grieved him by adultery so that there reigned in all men without exception blood manslaughter theft and dissimulation corruption unfaithfulness tumults perjury disquieting of good men forgetfulness of good turns defiling of souls changing of kind that's what goes on in Babylon, man. Everything that, that we just named, all of the above. Oh, changing the past. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. That's what Babylon does to you, man. It turns you out, man. If you ain't strong, if you ain't strong in this society, man, you will be sucked in, man, about something. Anything, man. You know? The world got way more people than, oh, no, no, no. than you, that man. it don't have. Think about the small number that served the Lord, man. That's small why he called it. Yeah, he, he took the world. A small home. sanctuary. The world has most of these people, man. It's people, you know, we we got loved ones and relatives, but the world got them, man. And there's nothing we could do to prime them away, man. No words we could say. We bring up the Holy Scripture to them. We can't prime them away, man. All right? Because the Lord is at enmity with them, so he gave them over to their own lust, man. All right? He gave them over to the world, and he's at enmity with the world. Right. 
This James 1 and 13, let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of, of, of the Most High. For the Most High cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempted he any man. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust he and enticed. Away. He is drawn away of your own lust and enticed. And enticed by the thing lust. that you want, man. By your lust. Yeah. By your own lust, man. Impulsive, man. Nah. You can't be a man of the Lord in this thing. You're impulsive, man. You got to be always thinking, always uh, in control, be conscious of what's, what you're doing, what you're saying, how you're acting. It says, then when lust had conceived, it bringeth forth sin. And sin, when it is finished, bring forth death. Right, and that's what's gonna happen to a lot of your people. That is gonna meet you at your door because you you all this world is all about lust, all about uh being enticed, man. They entice others, man. You got you got grown, I just recently heard grown ass men talking about I was pressured. Oh, with peer pressure. Right? Still, we, peer pressure, we didn't get, last time I got peer pressure was at 13 years old, and I still ain't do that shit they talking about. What the fuck is you talking about, man? Real, real. No oh, 42 years old, talking about you, you, oh, peer pressure. Yeah, that's wrong. He wanted to do that. Yeah, he wanted to do that shit, man. Everybody want to give it to the world. It's, it's the easier way. It's hard to do righteousness right. until you come into it, and you see, like, actually, it's the way to, it's what to do. And then it become what? It becomes what? Second. Second nature. But everybody won't give it to the world because they don't got the discipline or the constitution to continue this, man. Because see, it's about continuance once you turn to this. And and, and they are a discontinued people, man. Got it. people undisciplined. Fall, fall, yeah, yeah, fall all into that, man. Not disciplined. Look at, look, look at some club Negroes, man. You, you schedule a meeting with them. Life changing, a life changing meeting. Niggas gonna be late. <laughs> I bet you, niggas gonna be niggas late. Gonna be late for that thing, brother. Then when he get there, he gonna smell like, like a pound of reefer. Yeah. Then when he get there, his hair gonna be nappy. Nappy, yeah. His clothes ain't gonna be right. He gonna be sagging, man. And he gonna complain about something you say. Yeah. I'm sad though. You trying to pay on me or something? <laughs> no, no, I'm trying to give you a life changing deal. But that, that's our people, man. Yeah. Why Ruckus, what yeah, Ruckus said in that, in, that, in, that, in, that, in that one, that one uh, sitcom yeah. on Boondocks, when, when the lawyer had to be, uh, get the exorcism on. Really, yeah. Uh, what is his name? Ruckus said, man, it's, it's only a couple of things that strike fear you niggas, man. You know, a whip, a job application, man. Read, look. Read, maybe you just bugging out. You're like, right. Because a lot of you, Jason, you a lot of you niggas is under demons, man. You look at it, look. Look, you see, take this naturally got demons on them, man. They can't help it. Can't help it, self. I mean, somebody else. I got a quick sign for you, brother. Go ahead. This is this, this, uh, sign with discipline. Mm -hmm. Discipline requires us to choose between what we want long term versus what we want right now, man. Read it again. No. Take me to hear that. Yeah, I'm okay. Yeah, man. It, it, says, more time, man. it says discipline require us. So it's a requirement. Alright? Yeah, like I say, any young man coming into this thing, up and coming, up and coming brother, you have to study discipline. Study, study the right way. The right way how to do things, man. It's required of us to do that, man. The only way we get into the kingdom is you gotta be disciplined, man. You're gonna have to come under under the tutorship of learning discipline, man. Read that against that, man. Gotta, yeah, you gotta start right first. If not, you start you start backwards going forward. And that's the thing about starting backwards going forward. You gotta come back to where you started from just to start going forward, man. It's a waste of time. It's, it's a waste of time. We don't, have, we don't have time to waste. We don't got time to waste. 
It says discipline requires us to choose between what we want long term versus what we want right now. Yeah. And Jake and Jake, Jake thinks about the long term, long term inconsistency. Because Jake actually thinks of the what's now, believing that it's gonna continue with him long term, which is facts. That's why we working now to get the long term. That's no way for the you get something now. Tomorrow it can be different, man. That shit you get now can self destruct you. It can self destruct you too. Well, you don't know discipline. I mean, you destroy it anyways, man. You already defeated, man. Huh? The Lord said, lay up not, not for yourselves treasures on earth. Because it can be stolen, it can be corrupted. It can be one man through this, next man through that. And the kingdom is going to be forever. Yeah, we, we don't know what's on tomorrow. For our life is as a vapor. One moment we're a pimp, and then the next day, like, man, everything just went fucking wrong, man. The most I called you home. He called you home. It says we can't it's we can take nothing all right here when we leave, man. That's no seeking the damages in the grave. That's why the Lord said uh take and give, give and take, man. But that's no seeking of damages in the grave. Damages goes into pleasures, man. All right, because you're gonna you're gonna let the desire of the good day overpass you, man. Because you want the good moment you'll sacrifice a good moment for the good day man i mean you you know you you know jeopardize you got it yeah. it's like that old saying you're trying to jake you're trying to win the win the battle win the battle but we're trying to win the whole war yeah one battle is just a, a skirmish ultimately you're trying to win that win the whole goddamn war man that's what we that's what we focus on man I, you know you gotta lose something to win something right your life, yeah. Even that comes with denying yourself, man. Sometimes you gotta deny certain shit in here, man, and go without. You know? This Isaiah, back in Isaiah 59 and 14, and judgment is turned away backwards, and justice standing afar off, for truth is falling in the street, and equity cannot enter. Balance cannot enter, man. Yep. There's, there's no balance here. Fairness. There's no fair. There's nobody telling you outside of the men of the Lord. There's nobody telling you about uh, fairness and equity and quality, yep. mercy, true judgment. Everybody on here is a goddamn uh, snake oil salesman, man. Trying to make money, trying to get over, scheming, plotting. All right? Everybody trying to be. There's nobody telling you the correct way, man. That's the first stuff, you know, the, the mirror men that's going to the, 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 the elder apostles, man. Right? Those, are the, those are the men that's laying down the true, the true uh, lines of judgment, man. Right right, right under the, the different elders, man, on down, man. Right on to the least of us, man. We're the ones that's doing the work, man. Telling it like it is, man. Okay? Ain't nobody else gonna, gonna do it, man. Go ahead, huh? Yeah. I the men of the Lord are the men that are giving out equality, man. All right, because they're supplying a, a, a abundance of water. They're supplying what you what you need, man, to, to live, all right, to, to, to be righteous, okay, to be honest, to be true, all right? Who's supplying you that with that? The men of the Lord, who the word of the Lord, man. But I, you know, the people don't want that, man. It says, yea, truth failing, and he that departed from evil, making himself a prey. Yeah, that's how this society is. When you depart from this society, you the way of the truth, and start putting on righteousness, putting on the light of the how about you shine, then you are then you, uh, you look down upon, man. Your family hates you, your mother, your mother disowns you. Your father, your father, I haven't seen it, man. Your father said, hey, you go somewhere out the house, yeah, I already had your bed ready for you, man. You come back, look. Come on, you hit that doorbell. Yeah, take it in. Right, you put that in the change the whole lot. They get in there, wiggle the key, knock on the door. Knock on the door. That's what's going on. 
You ain't allowed to open it, too. Yeah, you ain't allowed to. You ain't allowed here no more. Here go your bag. Put, 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 put. Boom. Throw the door in your ass, man. And disown you. You a son for this thing, man. Wait up. It says, and what you doing? What you doing, man? What you taking a picture of, man? Oh, go ahead. Go ahead, throw that. Wait. It says, and your Howard saw it, and it did. It's displeased him that there was no judgment. There ain't no judgment here, man. Nah, nah. no judgment, man. You gotta get ready for slaves. You too. Yeah. Ain't nothing but judgment. Ain't, ain't, ain't no judgment here, man. They got some picture taking freaks out there today, huh? What are you doing, bro? Get him, get him, get his, get his, his ankles down there. Get his ankles. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> fuck over here. Look at that shit, man. And we talking about they, freaks of the world, man. That's all they do, man. It's all, it's all they got to offer here. It's a bunch of, a bunch of the frogs. You don't know what they're going to do with the their fucking son, man. You know? You don't know what they're doing with that shit, man. They're, they're, yeah, Photoshop you punching somebody any goddamn thing. Yeah. You don't know what the yeah. fuck you're doing, bro. Going home and, 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 and blast off to the fucking picture, man. I don't want to be on that, man. Going to NASA on that. Yeah, going to NASA. Went to the moon. What the fuck picture you, man? Come on, man. Yeah, man. Come on, bro. He is scrapping that bitch. Filming on and everything. Flying. <laughs> Blasting off, man. Bro, I ain't never knew your shit. Stupid shit, man. man. Yeah, 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 yeah. You end up like that when you break the laws. Get him, get him, get him. 
going off on all fours on Canal Street, man. That's how you end up when you break the laws of God. Man. He was face down on the ground. He was face down, down. y'all like that. Kissing the ground, man. With no socks on, no shoes. That's what happened when you forsake the laws of, 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 of Yahweh, man. And that's what that's what a lot of that's what Ezra, that's what Daniel, that's what uh a lot of the prophets, the most I put heavy, heavy uh dreams and trances on them and visions on them. They seen that guy, man. 2,000 years ago, they seen him bugged out. That, 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 they had a lot of them sick, man, to see Israel in that nature. It's like, it's like, it's like when, uh, you remember when my man, Eddie Murphy, came to America and his pops came down there with the limousines and shit. And then, think, yeah, he went to the spot, he busted, oh, he had work. My son, first? Yeah. It's the same way Ezra and them was feeling. When they see Israel in this in the state, man, we fucked up like that. They threw up. You can just go throw on world star hip hop. You see, 
Yeah, niggas are cursed. Curse.com. That's what they should call that. That's site. how we found out we was Israelites. Right. Through the fucking curses, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Think about it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What else can describe us to let us know? Now, yeah, we had the talents, but the curses we feel like, no, we the people. You got to be honest, we're a sign and a wonder. A sign and a wonder. That was the beginning of our, our day. Bringing us back to our nativity all the time. With curse, man. Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. There you go. Isaiah, the third chapter. God. All the good Bible. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And it's the only book that, that explains it. Yeah. All, all of these pro black Africanism books, black conscious books, I read a lot of them books, man. They have so called knowledge, but none of them explain why. How did, how did we why? go from here to here? Yeah. We're clearly better than everybody right, yeah. on the planet, but we perpetually at the bottom. Yeah. You got to explain that. Yeah. That got to be explained. Yeah. You young seniors, your brother seniors. They have a video for the homeless day. This nigga can sing than everybody, better than everybody in Hollywood. Yeah, yeah. In Hollywood. Yeah. There's somewhere, somehow, there's some local nigga that's from Treme that yeah. can bat, do basketball better than fucking Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan, yeah. <laughs> the curses are warm out there, you know? You know? And we ain't seen it time and time again. All right, because we are those people. The, the curses have overtaken us, man. Overtaken. Now it's to the point. See, why look like a fucking pig in those in those curses? And they're lying. I know niggas, I know family right now, they don't want to leave the hood. Yeah. You you bring them somewhere secluded, quiet, birds, miserable. Uh, uh, pine, miserable. <laughs> niggas, it's too quiet. It's too quiet. <laughs> niggas, when you think like they get fucked up, man. Yeah. And that's why Esau put these cities. These cities up, man. They pollute your mind with noise and, and, and uh, distractions and shit, man. But every time we go out to a brother's house, like, like we went to Raleigh, man, we sit there for 20 minutes like this. We get the stars and shit. <laughs> Damn, brother. I can breathe, huh? I'm not a tree in there. Look at this bitch. Yeah, suffocating the pits, man. It smells the pits, man. Where we flying over for the. Oh, That's why I said, man, when I was on a goddamn plane, I told him, brother, I said, brother, when they get over, the, when they get over, get over Kenner, when they get to over like Kenner, I'm watching that big long snout yeah, bitch, long, over, long snout bitch over there taking pictures, man. So what y'all about? Labrador. You got a man? I like to know. Well, this ain't gonna, this ain't gonna be for you, then. How do you know? It's not. It's not? No, it's not. It's gonna... I can be changed. Nah, oh, I don't, I don't think so. I mean, that's fine. I mean, because it, 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 I'm not saying that because, uh -huh. one, yeah. I ain't saying that. I'm just saying. I ain't that. I'm just saying. You know, I don't, I don't, like I say, I don't think it's, nah. But what is, what is Yeah, I'm from Virginia and I go both ways. I love it. I love it, I'm fired. And I'm going to show you all so. Well, it's like, it's, it's, this is a waste of time, to tell you the truth. God, God, I'm going to get going on this. It's back in Daniel, you chapter know, you 9. Know, you know America's going to be destroyed, though? Yes, I do know that. How do you know that? You, you learned that from your grandparents, uncles, you know, mom? I Huh? I don't What What give you indication it's going to be destroyed? We just don't. I'm not stupid. I can see where we're going. All right, go back to the street, bro. Yeah. All right, so it's, it's Daniel 9. And 12. And he confirmed his words which he spake against us and against our judges that judged us by bringing upon us a great evil. For under the whole heaven have not been done. Light green. You want to just walk across the street? Look at it. Get it. Get the problem. This is a proud motherfucker, man. Proud, big body motherfucker, man. Hey. We, we, like I said, we ain't talking to lesbians, man. You can get the fuck up the street, man. Well, we waste, it's a waste of time talking to you, man. You made your decision. I'm talking about you a change. What you gonna change into something further than what you were? Yeah. <laughs> change into a damn leopard. Yeah. You shouldn't have changed into what you was. You an Israelite. The most I gonna change. Yeah. That's what gonna change you, man. He gonna, change you from, he gonna change you from a person to fucking ash, man. Vapor rod. But these, man. We're gonna, they're going to change a lot of you motherfuckers. Your mind, your body, soul, and every goddamn thing else. Change you in the soil. Yeah. Scripture say you're going to be written in the earth. 
you write something, you you put the ink in the paper. You engraved. Yeah. You're gonna be your body's gonna be engraved in the earth. Man. Yeah, you you watch uh uh what the guy name is Houdini and all them motherfuckers. The Lord the Lord got the greatest magic act you gonna ever see, man. Oof. Yeah, that's a waste of time talking to this shit, man. What am I talking to you for? What do you want to talk about, man? I'm a lesbian. You want to see they hide it, they hide it not, man. Yeah, she didn't hide it. Yeah. Proud. Yeah, proud. Come on, we do. How? How are we doing? I got eyes, I can see. Thank you. It's a waste right of here. time. It's Jeremiah. Yeah, right. I'm going to say that too. You brothers don't waste the time talking to these people, man. Yeah. What are you talk about? I want to talk to you about, man. Go ahead, huh? It's Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 13. O Yahweh, the hope of Israel, all that forsake thee shall be ashamed, and they that depart from me shall be written in the earth. That's plain, man. She's going to be ashamed, going to be ashamed in the kingdom, and she's going to be written in the earth, man. Her body's going to be a part of the permanent fixture in Babylon when he's led. You're not on a chariot when he's hit. That's it, man. It's over for you. You don't have a hope. But she gonna she gonna be introduced to them fucking Hebrew huggers, man. Just know that. She's gonna be a newborn baby strapped up in them Hebrew huggers, man. High five, da 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 da. Saying saying the saying the Hebrew alphabet, man. You know? Like, my water. No? She's gonna be saying them saying them the milk alphabets you're playing with. Playing with crystal toys and shit in the kingdom, man. As a newborn. They still talking shit. Nobody wants to deal with you, man. Nobody wants you. Nobody wants to deal with you, man. Go ahead, huh? This, this Lamentations 1 and 3. Judah is going into captivity because of affliction. And because of great servitude. She dwelling among the heathen. She find it no rest. Yeah, oh. you don't have no rest. No rest, yeah, man. The heathens put your ass to work, man. Esau squeeze every morsel of sweat, blood, and tears out of your ass, man. Right? And as long as I keep them working, them niggas don't have time to think. They don't have time to escape and get out of that, get out of that motherfucking uh, the predicament in there. But the Most High gave us time, man, to think. He put the spirit on us from high to wake up. And learn how to get out of these motherfucking cages, man. Yeah. All right? The men of the Lord are, are very woke, man. Yeah. So what's going on? Go ahead, huh? and, been a, and the Lord did it like this, man. He gave us a small little window to think, and that's all we need. I just need to give him a little thinking, man. Right. He didn't have to give us the world. It was so crazy. Yeah. Even the world, when we was in the world, partaking in some of this shit, we knew this shit wasn't right, man. You know it wasn't right, bro. I definitely knew I wasn't right. I second motion, second motion. Hey, I knew I remember, I remember being a little boy watching. You know I wasn't right. Uh, uh, cat dog. Uh, little talk. Different cartoons. I'm in mean, that bitch like the boy from uh, from Boonda. This kid. Yeah, this kid. Yeah. Like you just knew it wasn't right, man. It wasn't right, bro. Brendan Stephen, he's showing his showing his ass and shit. You know. Knew it, man. Yeah, but that's that's because you're Israelite, huh? The yeah. heathen don't know it. They actually think that it's normal. Like even as a little kid, the little Edomite kids, yeah. they always playing making gay jokes, playing grab ass and doing all that. That's just second nature to them to be a, a weirdo. But Jake know in the back of his mind, man, this ain't this ain't right. This is all. All right, man. It says she finding no rest. All her persecutors overtake her between strikes. All her persecutors overtake her, man. Like, 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 no, that she's taken, man. All right? And like I said, she's not going to come out of that. You want somebody, she can be changed. You can't be changed, man. Yeah. Hey, man. Getting hit with that rock can't change you. He ain't going to change you, man. It don't make no sense, man. Oh, I, I miss with girls. You want another, you want another. Lil Boosie looking motherfucker. Another, another man is fresh looking ass woman. To strap on some shit. Some, some latex. And go to town with you, man. That's 
question. Like, if you're a lesbian, why you need a strap on? You, you got a fake dick, but you're not in the yeah, dick. That don't make no sense. Just impersonate a man. Yeah, impersonate. Because you man. know the. You know, yeah, you know you're supposed to be with a man. Yeah, you you trying to impersonate a man. Because you know the right way. You don't think them lesbians know that ain't right? They know, right. They know that. They know. But it's all about burning and they lust or what? I, I, just, I just won't do it this way, man. Do as thou wilt. It says the ways of Zion do mourn because none come to her side of peace. All her gates are desolate. Her priest's side, her virgins are afflicted and she is in bitterness. Yeah, you're in bitterness, man. But in your midst of your bitterness, you, you love to wallow up in your bullshit, man. You love to be partakers of another of the other nation's actions. Man. Because you, you get some type of rights, you get some type of uh, particular day or month you know, pride, month, and shit. That's why you're in the predicament you're in, man. Go ahead, huh? It says her adversaries are the chief. Her enemies prosper. For Yahweh had afflicted her for the multitude of her transgressions. Her children are going into, into captivity before the enemy. Okay. That's why we're still under our enemies, man. Yep. To this day, to this damn day, man. Something to pay this too. Don't use that up. Yeah, just look at you, niggas, man. Look at you, niggas. 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 Look at Who's scattered amongst the world on ships? 
that, that's the curses, man. Curses spring for us, bro. Yeah. The curses woke us up. That woke yeah. us up, bro. Right? Yeah. 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 You, really, you literally go through a, a phase with these scriptures, but you're actually putting puzzles pieces together. They go from they go from Deuteronomy 28, right? It goes to it goes to the, the different curses, and you're like, damn, that ain't happening to those people. Right. It ain't happening to those people. All right, Job 9 and 24. That's nobody else. That's not the Arabs. That's not the, the Chinese, the Japanese. Right? That's not the East Indians. Yeah. It's just process of elimination. Go ahead. This Baruch 2 and 28. As thou spakest by thy servant Moses in the day when thou didst command him to write thy law before the children of Israel, saying, If ye will not hear my voice, surely this very great multitude shall be turned into a small number among the nations where I will scatter them. For I knew that they would not hear me because it is a stiff-necked people. But in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves. There you go. They're going to call into mind. Captivity. In captivity. We're going to remember ourselves, man. Right? We're going we're gonna to remember the acts of David, the acts of Joshua, the, acts, the different acts of Yahweh Shai, man. And a host of other men in the Lord that, that the scriptures don't talk about, man. All right? This is what put us in remembrance, man. All right? Even our transgressions put us in, the, in remembrance, man. Matching, it, matching up. Getting goosebumps, man. Matching up Second Ezra the eleventh chapter and how everything chronologically goes in order, man. All right, how we how we how we was eaten up by those different uh the Greeks, different Romans, all right. The story, the the, the, the very uh account of uh 70 AD, matching up with history, man. Identifying that we are those people. We are the people of Deuteronomy 28. We are the people from, from Genesis to, to, to Revelation, man. It's a, it's a full story, or right? a full love story between the Most High and his people, man. Man, man gets woman, which is the nation of Israel. Man, man punishes woman, and man gets back his woman, man. All right, a full come up. You can talk about. You know, Dixie in the hood, getting out the mud. Now, this is a real get it out the mud story, man. Right? This story, this story, man, you can literally, you can literally put this this whole book together and make a movie out of it, man. And how are we gonna be come up in the kingdom? And how the story ends, man. Which the story ain't gonna never end. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a full blown huh? yeah, it's gonna be a sequel, man. Part two. Like like you niggas love power of book two. It's, a, it's another part of that book. In the, in the kings of Israel, the prophets and teachers and rulers live heavily ever after, man. Continue. Dot, 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 dot. Okay? Instead of getting out the mud, we got it out the curses. Yeah. Our sins make us recall the mind our captivity or while we're here. Then our captivity helps us remember ourselves. Yeah. It, helps us, it helps us know our future. Too, know man. our future. So we have to look back in order to know what's in front of us, man. We have to look forward, man. And that's what we did. That's Isaiah the 41st chapter, man. Yeah. Right? I got, I got, I got one. This Jeremiah 6 and 16. Thus said Yahweh, stand ye in the ways and see and ask for the old paths. Where is the good way and walk therein and ye shall find rest for your souls. But they say we will not walk therein. So it's, we have to look for the old paths in order to remember ourselves. The Lord calls us to go backwards in order for us to spring, spring forward, spring forward, man. You see? And that's how we get to you. You fast forward to today, all right? We learned that what we did in the past caused us to be here today. And now, now we know where we're going from here. That's why we speak so plainly, man. Like, like a... Like a Elder brother uh, Yashuama was talking about. Back then, you know, through the acts of Solomon, David, and other various men, it was a it was an actual building of the temple. And what the heathen sought to do, he sought to destroy that temple, to defile that temple. All right? Now that temple, that same temple has turned into a people, which we are a repetition of that, man. And we're building that. 
So while we're building, what's happening? Them same people, them same exact people, are seeking to destroy us again, man. Right? That's why they put all type of programs and all type of things, obstacles in, the, in you Israelites' way, man. Even the men of the Lord. This is Job chapter 8, verse 7. Though thy beginning was small, yet thy latter end should greatly increase. Yeah, and our, and our latter end is going to be increased because the Lord's going to give us the whole abundance of the whole planet Earth. The Lord's going to give us, all right, the Lord's going to actually give us the planets, all right, this world, because this world itself was given to us, all right, it was given to us, man. It was it was created for us. All right? But we don't possess it now because of our disobedience. We'll be finna do it now. Like I said, that's a hard thing for, for many people to uh to believe, man. All right, go ahead, huh? Yeah, I got one more verse. Verse 8. For inquire, I pray thee, of the former age, and prepare thyself to the search of their fathers. And that's what we did. We, we prepared ourselves for the search of our fathers. Well, actually, physically, the search of our fathers to find out what different tribes we are from. And ultimately, our forefathers in the Bible, man. Well, damn. Job said he went. Damn. He says, I was shy. Why was he in? Damn, the most right. Damn. He kept me, like, I remember being younger than this truth. Man, you used to sit, you sit by the laptop for hours, man. Every video was broken out into parts. You might have had 10 parts. It took you an hour, two, three hours <coughs> on one video, man. And it was all 14 minutes and 59 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's going through them, but I'm going to be just yeah. And from there, it involved what? You started getting the other books. These different books connected, connected what? Through history, connected the dots of Israelites settling in the, in the West Coast of Africa. Israelites, under the, under the, the title of being Moors, settling into Spain and connecting the dots through uh, Haitian hands on the color line. Uh, Battle on the Ten Buck Two. So again, other books connecting that King James was a so called black man. He was an Israelite. Then that's the search of your fortress, man. The translation, he translated the yeah. scriptures. Translating slave trade. Right, various, you know, various artifacts helping out that proving who we are, man. All right? Genesis 49, right? Okay, this tribe is going, is here. This tribe is there. You know, process of elimination, figuring out who the 12 tribes are. That's our people. Search for your father. See, which, your father goes into your line. Yeah. So you finding your line, your lineage. That's all your kindreds. That's your kindreds, man. You just finding your family. You go into the kindreds and what? The tribe. It goes even deeper into what? The, the, the 12, 12 tribes sons, of Israel. 12 sons of the That's who we found out who we is, man. That's why we speak boldly and plainly, man. We know we them people, bro. We know. And that word father, in the Hebrew, Abba, you have the eye, which is the eyes, the strength. You have the bayat, which is the house. Your father's straight in the house. Yeah. Right. So, your house could be Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Ephraim, Gad. Don't matter. Ultimately, it goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Those are our fathers. That's right. Those are the real, when the scriptures speak about your fathers, it's yeah, talking about Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Uh, this uh, Isaiah 44. And that's why it says, too, real quick, in the gun of it. I'll tell you about the uh, ham. Ham was the virginity of the so called Negro. Not the Negro. Not the Negro. Not the Negro. Not you know? The dark race. Yeah, the dark race. Not the Negro. And they used the word virginity. Not the Father. Father, man. This is uh, Isaiah 44, verse 1. Yet now hear, O Jacob, my servant, and Israel, whom I have chosen. Thus said Yahweh that made thee and formed thee from the womb, which will help thee. Fear not, O Jacob, my servant, and thou Jesurah, whom I have chosen. For I will pour water upon him that is thirsty, and floods upon the dry ground. I will pour my spirit upon thy seed and my blessing upon thine offspring. So that's what's happening right now, man. Going back to, what, Ezekiel 37? He's pouring that living water on us, and we sprouting up, coming back into who we are, 
our heritage, our language, getting back into the herbs, the stones, you name it, man. It's just being brotherly. This is our culture. We, we shed black culture, we put in on Israel. Yashuel. It says, and they shall spring up as among the grass, as willows by the water courses. One shall say, I am Yahweh's, and another shall call himself by the name of Jacob, and another shall subscribe with his hand unto Yahweh and surname himself by the name of Israel. So we're calling ourselves Israelites again, man. That's the prophecy. The prophecy doesn't say we go back into the Holy Land on the Belfort Declaration, run Hollywood. We can listen up in these last days. Yeah, they don't say Israel should be proud. Israel should be Galilee in captivity. They don't say that, man. They ain't supposed to say that. Israel shall control the diamond tree. That's not in the Bible, man. The banking, international finance. Yeah. It's like in uh, Deuteronomy 28, chapter 68, verse. It says, at the end, it says, no man shall buy you. I mean, no man. Come on, man. You said Jacob that worm, is what you said, man. So you went, we went from a worm to an apex predator? <laughs> you know, an apex predator don't need no help. It don't, it don't, it don't nothing feeds on it, man. Come on, man. Yeah, man. Something's wrong there, man. You start to understand how this world works, how everything is evolved and evolved around these scriptures, man. And everything gonna start to make sense, man. Until then, you are greatly blinded, man. Until then, you start to acknowledge that there is a power, and his name is Jehovah, man. You you are asleep. A lot of you a lot of you niggas out there call yourself woke prophets. Teachers, I you got one eye laid open. Some of you niggas, you, you still ain't woke, man. But that, like that, that, that fat guy that walked by. Shalom, 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 family. You sleep, man. Assalamu alaikum, alaikum and shit, man. Shalom. Calling the Lord Yeshua. <laughs> Yahweh, that ain't the Lord's name, man. You got some more studying to do. Right? It just is what it is, man. Why do you think you you don't know shit, man? And we, and like I say, we mean we mean what we say. You don't know a goddamn thing. Until you humble yourself and put yourself in a position to learn, you'll never get this, man. It's like a brother. It's like it's like a billboard that's lit up. It's plain to see, you just still can't read and understand what it's saying, man. That's what we are to, to, to the masses out here, to two thirds out here, to the blind. We're, we're that beacon and that light that niggas still can't get it. We all this place. We ain't hit nowhere, brother. We never sight. been hit, huh? Plain sight. Plain sight. That's why uh, the disciples asked you, how was shot? Why are you speaking in parables? He was talking to a crowd of people, but speaking over their head. Yeah, said because it's not given unto them. Yeah. It's given unto you to know the mystery. Yeah. And the same thing that today, only the elect. Because we're the only ones that really teach about the elect. <clears throat> only the elect gonna understand what we're saying, the mysteries, the deep love sayings, the understanding, the understanding of the Bible as a whole, the destruction, the mark of the beast, the chip. Home down, man. Even even the roughness that we come coming in, man. It takes a it takes the elect to understand what they have. They come in rough, but what they're saying, the contents of what they're saying is heavy, man. It's facts. It's a lot of you like this brother here. Where he at? This brother here. He said, I think last week, one of the things that got him was when he first came out, was that we tell you don't believe us, man. I don't want you to believe me, man. But I will, I will ask you that you go look up what we're saying. And then, when you do find out what we're saying to be true, then come back. And what you did, came back. You found out what we're, everything that we're saying found out to be true, man. Because we ain't selling no whoop tickets out here. We ain't selling no snickers. Where we are, a 
punishing is the word of your how about you shot, man. And it's full as it goes. The straight and skinny. All right? And sometimes the truth hurts, huh? All the time the truth is it's harsh and all the time. blunt. All the time. But sometimes it takes some of you niggas, your head is so thick and so and so hard, it takes bluntness. Just take this truth to bush in your goddamn head to wake up, man. Most of the city made out for it. It's hard against that for That's right. Call all y'all about your shot, man. The Lord let the rain pass. And for the air force to fucking tear it down, man. No, the Lord let the rain pass for us, man. You know? Like drizzle a little bit and then stop. And most of I was like, yeah, man. It sure is raining on the forecast. Yeah, it's like, you can no, tell it's, it. It sure is yeah. raining. It's, it's raining down there. It's like a bug. It's like a, it's like a, a, a oh, brown, so brown shield runners, man. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Praise the most high for that, man. The work, got to be, the work got to be done, man. Go ahead. It's uh, verse 7. And who as I shall call and shall declare it and set it in order for me, since I appointed the ancient people and the things that are coming and shall come, let them show unto them. Fear ye not, neither be afraid. Have not I told thee from that time and have declared it? Ye are my witnesses. Ye are my witnesses. Man. Is there a power besides me? No. Yea, there is no power. There is no power besides the most high, man. You can make up all these, all these, uh, Marvel books, Capcom, X-Men, and X-Men, you know, man. But ain't none of them, ain't none of them compared to the most high. Buddha fat ass ain't doing it. Uh, uh, Muhammad ain't doing it. Jesus. Sweet Jesus ain't doing it. Who rock Hussein Obama, he definitely ain't doing it. Sleepy Joe ain't doing it, man. Y'all niggas, I'm the team collaboration, but you niggas, uh, you niggas want Trump back in the office now, man. I think Trump was, my pockets went a little bit hurting when Trump was in the office, man. Because you made a guard out, there, out of that nigga, man. You made a guard out of uh, Biden. You made a guard out of all these different uh, out of money. deities and money and shit, man. And they, can't, and they still can't save them, man. Right. Right. No, none of those different gods. Niggas see it's a host of them, man. You got niggas worshiping the sun, niggas worshiping the moon, niggas worship niggas got you got niggas out here that worship the moon, man. I mean the, the, the literal the literal box of a woman, man. You got niggas that worship that, man. Come to the law. Niggas, niggas, niggas praying to the box, man. Putting the whole box, it's a box. Yeah. You can pray at night, putting your hand, this, this is a vagina, man. Well, they showed uh, an image that a woman's uterus is the same exact shape as the, the round, the Belfamet, the Belfamet round. It's the, the exact the two same. Ovaries yes. in the in the, in the in the snout of the round, man. You know? Yeah, all this idolatry goes back to sex work. It. Yeah, wait, is it's it? not a box, then it's a, a phallic symbol. It's either an obelisk or a yeah, box. Yeah. Hey, and that's why you got your man, Kevin Gates. He on suicide watch because he called Dre Dreger, yeah, yeah. his wife, with the with the train. Yeah. But you're supposed to be this big old gangster, but he posted a day two hours ago. He's on suicide watch, and they got him with the gun. You know the video? Yeah. I mean, the picture of the pose, right. he like this. He I thought he was a big step. I thought he was a big step. I thought he was going to war with God behind him. And then look what God did to you. Yeah, not go to war. Y'all seen the trainer? Y'all seen, seen the training? No, I ain't seen it. I'm gonna say, looking like he'd be out today celebrating. Oh, there ain't no heat. I don't think. That, that's a heat. Oh, oh man. It don't look like no heat. Found a better one yeah, than Kevin Gates. That's what you Gates. get when you say I go to war with God behind. That's it. Yeah, Jake be stunned, man. Now you trying to go meet God? I want to say you ain't got no more, no more pressure for God now. I'm trying, I'm trying to get up out, check myself out. Yeah, like I say, you got guys like that, man. Yeah. You heard, you heard of, you heard of, you heard of, blow your goddamn brains out, honey. But in a minute, and she gonna go back to the same shit. Yeah. Go to the next. Thing. Collect, the, collect the money off you. And continue doing what she's doing, man. Dog man. You keep your crown all the way away. Yeah. For a fucking. Gorilla Club. Yeah. This is like a gorilla club. Yeah, I think that. Yeah, we about to get out of here, man. You know, so we 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 over and done with. 
know, the Lord will open this thing up. Let the rain come on through. We can feel it coming, man. All right, so today we're going to give all praise and glory and honor to the Yahweh. Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh, Shai, by Shem, Yahweh, God. Give honor to the elders and prophecies once again of GMS. Peace and blessings and salutations. And hope you elect those that follow this man, man. Tell me to tell the one. Just one. Oh, Baba, Baba. 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 Baba, Baba.